I once again came across a conservative liberal debate, and I once again come out feeling a bit disappointed. I think Tiffany and JC did a good job as they could given the format of the debate. However, I find myself wanting to contest several claims that Bryson Gray made that went seemingly unchallenged. This is What Would Pierce Ask? Let's get started. I'm right on every topic, basically. Uh, there probably isn't no topic I'm not far right on, especially in today's society. Uh, my, I'm, I'm obviously a Christian, an actual Christian, which means I believe in the Bible, uh, which means that there is no such thing as trans to begin with. Um, and then people like furries, all this stuff is obviously and blatantly a mental illness and degenerate. Uh, to summarize what I think you mean... Are you saying that all members of the LGBT community are immoral and degenerate? What makes you think that being trans or gay is immoral? Later in this debate, Bryson does answer this question. Let's see what he has to say. But they're, they can't even procreate so and reproduce, so, you know. An immoral or corrupt person. And homosexuality is immoral, especially because I'm a Christian. And if you want to base it on that, we can alone. But if you just want to base it on nature. That's why that's why that's why it has a net negative and it can't have a net positive because of nature. This is common sense. This, this, this is like you don't need a study, bro. I promise you. I promise it's so easy to understand. You don't need facts. Two men can't get each other pregnant. It just can't happen, unfortunately, because that's not how we were created in any way, shape, or form. So even if you don't believe in God, you have to believe in nature. You have no choice. You have to believe in nature. It can't happen because you're not made to have sex with the same sex. You're literally just not created. Your body is literally not created for that. So saying anything otherwise, thinking you need studies, that's what's idiotic. Like I said, I can't stand with conservatives like play this little game. What do I need to study for, bro? I'm a child of my mother and father. Not from two men because that's impossible. So I'm a child of my mother and father. And, we, and we're here. And obviously it's, it's degenerate based on the definition of degeneracy. It's an abomination. And I understand you repent. To summarize, I think that you are saying that because a person is homosexual and cannot reproduce, this makes them immoral. Mr. Gray, what is it about being unable to reproduce makes someone immoral? If a man had a medical condition in which he was unable to produce sperm, is this man immoral? Let's talk about family. Let's start with social media. Are you more likely to get banned for calling Jesus gay? Or am I more likely to get banned for misgendering somebody or saying I, homosexuality is a sin? If there's obvious gay privilege. Gay people can say whatever they want on the internet. But as soon as a straight Christian male says something against homosexuality, something against transgenderism, something about genders, then they can get banned in a heartbeat. That is a fact. What I think you are saying is that LGBT people can post anything on the internet and it will not be removed. However, if a Christian posts something that is critical of LGBT people, it will be removed. Do you think that it's possible that how something is worded or phrased is heavily taken into consideration when a website is being moderated? Do you think that someone could post a respectful argument to why Jesus may have been gay and have it not be offensive to a Christian? The thing is, when you say y'all want to live your life peacefully, that's a lie. I am in the conservative movement. I go to these events. I am personally attacked by the LGBT Trump supporting community all the time. They 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 uh they throw dirt on my name to the Trump campaign. All this is fact. The Trump campaign texted me <laughs> and said the Trump campaign texted me and said, uh, Bryson, we're uh, we can't promote you if everybody's telling us you're homophobic because y'all don't let the here's the thing. All this started because I say Bible verses on my Twitter and Brandon Strzok and all of these homos come to my page and 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 I have the audacity to think their opinion matters to me. And it doesn't. So I'm outspoken about what I believe in, and then y'all don't like it. When I say y'all, I'm not talking about exactly you. I'm just saying y'all's and LGBT people. What I think I hear you saying is that because people on social media accused you of being homophobic, the Trump campaign would not promote you. Do you think that the Trump campaign could have promoted you regardless of whether or not people were criticizing you on social media? In other words, could the Trump campaign ignore the social media chatter? and promote you anyway. Can you think of an example in which the Trump campaign ignored social media chatter and associated with a particular individual anyway? This concludes this episode of What Would Pierce Ask? Mr. Gray, if you're listening, I would be interested in having a respectful conversation with you. 
If this is something you would like to do, please contact me. Take care, everyone.